Today in our 2006 Honda Ridgeline, we're gonna be installing Takancha's T1 vehicle wiring harness with four pole flat trailer connector. This vehicle wiring harness is gonna provide you with all the necessary lighting you need for your trailer. This includes your left turn signal, right turn signal, tail lamps, and brake lamps. It's an easy installation. It simply plugs directly into your factory connectors between both your passenger and driver side tail lights. So there's no cutting or splicing involved. What's nice about this harness is the control module that's included with it. So this way, if you have a fault on your trailer, it won't affect the lighting that's on your vehicle. The module acts as a buffer in between the two. Our four pole connector here on the end has a dust cap that is pre-made onto the connector. This can be put on to keep out any dirt, debris, and moisture to ensure you have a long lasting connection. You can also loop it through your safety chain loops and this will keep your connector up off of the ground and out of the way. We'll begin our installation at the back of the vehicle with the tailgate open. We're going to need to remove both the passenger and driver's side taillights. You'll see two bolts located here on the inside. We're going to remove those with a 10 millimeter socket. Then you can just pull your taillight assembly rearward. And that'll pop it out. And here on the inside, we're going to need to find our electrical connector right here. We'll disconnect the connector and set our tail light aside. We'll do this exact same procedure on the other side. We can now take our wiring harness. We're going to use the yellow and brown circuits that are coming off of it. And this is going to plug in line between our tail lamp assembly and our factory connector here. So we're going to go ahead and plug in the factory connector side. We'll save this for later. This will plug back into our tail light. Now we're going to need to install our ground wire. So we're going to put that about right here. We're going to use the self-tapping screw that comes included with our kit. Put it through the ring terminal on the end of that white wire. Now we'll use a quarter inch socket to thread that into the metal behind our tail light. We'll now take our module. We're going to stick the adhesive backing on it. So we'll peel off our cover there. Stick it to the back of our module. Next, we'll stick our module onto our vehicle. We're going to place it down below here. So I've already taken a cloth with some alcohol on it and cleaned that up just to ensure we have good adhesion. We'll peel off our other backing. Stick the module right below the opening there. And you just want to keep it pressed up against that wall there for about 25 seconds. We'll now pull our wiring down. We'll now need to run our wiring across to the other side. We're going to do this with both of our connectors here, except our four pole, we're going to stop about halfway. So we're going to go ahead and just push that one in. That's going to stop about there. This one is going to continue all the way to the other side. Now that we've got our wiring fed over to our passenger side, and to get this up here, I just reached my hand down there and then pulled it up. There's plenty of room for your arm to get in there. We'll now plug our wiring into our factory connector here, just like we did on the driver's side. And our passenger side tail light's going to plug right into this connector here. We can now reinstall our tail light assemblies. So we're going to plug those into the other side of our harness connector. We're just going to take that wiring and push that down in there. We can then put our bolts back in and tighten them down. To verify everything's working, you can plug in a tester like the one we have here, which you can pick up at eTrailer.com, or you can just plug in your trailer. You want to make sure that you have your left turn signal, right turn signal, tail lamps, and brake lamps. And with everything working properly, we're ready to hit the road. And that completes our installation of Takancha's T1 vehicle wiring harness with four pole flat trailer connector on our 2006 Honda Ridgeline.